Where does the sexiest sounding British accent come from? I like the Hull accent. Hull is oh. sexy! That's right, Hull. Where boiled sweets, LCDs and oppression all originated. Now, Hull is located here, which makes you think, oh, okay, just a northern accent then. But no, I'll break down exactly what makes the Hull accent so special and sexy. For this video, I'll be using the great comedian Lucy Beaumont because she literally personifies Hull. <gasps> Genuinely no offense intended, she's great. Look her up, she's really funny. People look at northern and southern accents and say, wow, they're very different. But we actually share more things in common in our pronunciation than we don't. For example, we both use the schwa when a word ends in OR, AR, ER. For example, doctor, lawyer, water. Compare with the American way, doctor, lawyer, water, that er, that is rhotic. British, north and south, it's non-rhotic. Again, not all British accents. The West Country, the pirate accent, they pronounce the R like an er. Some birds just stole my car. We also use glottal T's here and there. Not all the time, not never, more or less with the same frequency. Put three yogurt in it. And some vowel sounds even sound the same. For example, the oo in soup. Soup. It's amazing, but the main differences, yes, are in the vowels and how we pronounce them. The most famous example of this is the O sound, particularly in hello. I would say O, oh, hello. In Hull, it's more of an uh. Hello. Sexy. Now, as I mentioned, the schwa it is the most common sound in British English. So if you're studying British accents, you need to know this sound, uh. In Cockney accents, it might be more pronounced. Doctor, lawyer, Walter, Arda. It's more emphasized. However, in Northern accents, it's way more relaxed. They're more chill up there. So you have to reflect that in your pronunciation. Being from London, I have a very boring accent. It's just ah. Uh. But I still have to actively go ah. Uh. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the doctor. That feels more of an active sound. In the Hull accent, however, it's very, very relaxed. It's like the sound falls out of my mouth. Doctor, water. So if you take that northern schwa, that very relaxed uh sound, and lengthen it, now it sounds like the sound you need for any word with an O in it. Hello. Hello. Go. Go. You try. Um, let's look at other words with the same sound, same pronunciation. See if you can get it. Uh, we've got roast. Roast dinner. Won't. You will put all the recycling together, but you won't take it out. No. No. Bowl. Bowl. This one is interesting because I don't say bowl and hole in the same way as hello and go. So, uh, okay, without getting sidetracked, Traditionally, in southern pronunciation, you would expect hole, bowl. But I don't pronounce it that way, and not many people do apart from upper RP speakers. I pronounce it like hole, bowl, but, like I said, traditionally these should have the same sounds as these. It's that same sound, o. Oh. So in a hull accent, they all have that same sound, er, uh. bowl. Bull. There's also the very famous trap bath split. What this means is northern accents and southern accents, getting very overgeneralized, they're split in how we pronounce words like bath, laugh, castle. Listen to how Lucy Beaumont says the word after. If you can repeat after me. Or classes. Pull that hosted Zumba classes you can smoke in. Now, if you want a London accent, the a ah in certain words like laugh, after, class, castle, that sounds like an R. However, if you want that sexy hull accent, you will change it to an a ah sound, the same way as you pronounce the a ah in trap. After, after, class, class, laugh. Laugh. Another very famous difference is 
how they pronounce this sound. We pronounce this in southern accents like a, uh, other, one. It has that a uh sound. However, in a sexy hull accent, it sounds like this. And the other one. Their ah uh, sounds like my uh in words like book or cook or uh, wood. A city on the up. But it's a city on the up. City on the up. Ah, uh, uh. Also in words like jump. Jumped in. Must have. Well, they must have been there. The A sound is really fun, really weird. Let me show you. So it gets compressed into this E eh sound for words like take. You compress that to tech. Take it camping. Not all the time though. Usually it's a bit longer. E. Eh. So fake doesn't change to feck. No, usually it's a bit longer. So fake becomes Fake. Other words with this sound could be race. I was in the middle of a race. Spectator. 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 Also, did you notice the schwa, how that changed? Spectator. Spectator. It's a bit of a more lazy schwa in the Hull accent. Next is the I sound. Brilliant word if you want to say pint. He also wants to go for a pint with Gary Lineker. They don't make it so hard like we do. They don't say I. No, it's a smoother, nicer, more gentle. I. Nice. It's a nice dress series he's got on. The or sound. This is very similar to how Americans would typically say it. So the way I say this word, boring London accent, called. What is it called? Sure. Are you sure you want to do your lentil? Cottage pie. And finally, and perhaps the most fun one, is the R sound. Remember I said we pronounce it like class, they say it class, bath, bath, and so on. Well, it's the same when a word requires the R sound, like bar. It changes to an A, but a longer A. Bar becomes... And we ended up like in this real dodgy bar. Again, it's longer. Ba, a part becomes a part. A part. See, it's that longest. It does sound really sexy. Also, it's not just pronunciation. Whole words can change. For example, our mum is their mam. It's your mum. And also, you know how isn't it can change to in it. Well, they go one step further to int it. Isn't it funny? It's colourful, isn't it? It's a nice dress suit he's got on, way. isn't it? Much better, isn't it? All right, time for a test. How much of the sexy hull accent did you learn? Say these sentences with a sexy hull accent as best you can. Oh no, the snow on the road. Say it in a hull accent. Oh no, the snow on the road. Have you ever rode over the Humber Bridge? I know, just for pronunciation. If you ever rode over the Umber Bridge, it's never dull in Hull. It's never dull in Hull. If you want your own natural sounding British accent, I can give you a free course on my website, puppeteachme.com. There's a whole ebook, there's a whole free video course that you can follow and develop your own natural sounding British accent, unique to you. If you're from Hull and you hated this video, your friends, your life, your family and everything fun, please give this video a thumbs down. And as always, please argue in the comments. <sighs> All right, I'll see you in the next cl class, class. Bye.